Hello, my fellow students. This is a vocabulary video about forms of transportation. We will start with modes of transportation you can do without a vehicle, ones that you can do with just your body, like crawl. That's one way you can get around, crawl. We are going to learn these verbs in the infinitive form, like to crawl. That is the way that I think you should learn all verbs. Learn the infinitive, and then you can conjugate them into whatever tense you want, like the present or the past or the future. People don't usually talk in the infinitive form, but it is useful to memorize the infinitive and learn how to conjugate the verbs from the infinitive into whichever tense you want. My conjugation videos are linked in the description if you want them. Anyway, to crawl is kida. Crawl is kida. Then, after you crawl, you learn to walk. Kada, kada. Then, after you walk, you learn to run. Talida, talida. How else can we move? We can jump. Tuida, tuida, tuida. We can also climb. Orada, orada. Look at how this word sounds like over the, or da. Climb or da. Climb over the. And of course, the pinnacle of human movement to dance. Chum chuda. I like to think the sound effect of dancing is chum. Chum, chum, chum. Chum chuda. But there is another way humans can move swim. Suyong hada. To swim, suyong hada. And I don't know how many winged creatures will be studying Korean with me today, but if there are any, then you guys can fly. Nalda. To fly. Nalda. And that's all we got for unaided transportation. We can also move with the help of vehicles. Some vehicles you ride, and some vehicles you drive. And some vehicles, you can do both. So I will teach you the word for ride and the word for drive. Ride is tada. To drive is unjan hada. Notice how this word sounds like engine hada. Hada means to do. So this word is like to do engine, to drive. But there's another way to say it, molda. What's the difference between these two words for drive? Well, more specifically, unjan hara means to operate a vehicle, and molda means to transport something or someone. So you say, I drive a car. 나는 차를 운전해. And you say, I drive you to Seoul. 나는 나를 Seoul에 몰라. We will focus on the word unjanhara in the remainder of this lesson. All right, our first vehicle is the bicycle. Chajanga, chajanga, chajanga. And in Korean, they always say ride a bicycle. Chajanga tada, to ride a bike. Chajanga tada. Next vehicle, it's an easy one. Car is cha or chadong cha, but cha is more modern and cool and casual, and you can ride a car chadong cha tada or cha tada to ride a car, or you can drive a car chadong cha unjan hada or cha unjan hada to drive a car. Our next vehicle is a taxi. This one is more easy. Taxi. Taxi tada. Taxi tada. To ride a taxi. Or if you drive the taxi, taxi unjan hada. To drive a taxi. If you are a taxi driver, the word for that is taxi kisa. If you get in a taxi in Korean, you can say 안녕하세요, taxi gisa, or you can be extra polite and you can say 안녕하세요, taxi gisa nim, 
Gisa is what you call a professional driver, and Nim at the end makes it more polite. The next vehicle is a bus. Want to guess how to say bus? It is bus. You can ride the bus, bus taza. Or if you are a bus kisa, you can drive the bus, bus unjanhara. Now it's time to learn train. Train is kicha. The train is gonna get ya. Kicha, kicha, kicha. To ride the train is kicha tada. Notice how the word for car, cha, is inside kicha. That little word cha is actually inside a few different forms of transportation. If you want to drive the train, to say that is gicha unjan hada. The next method of transportation is airplane. Bihengi. Bihengi. In Korean, you say, I drive the airplane. Never say, I fly the airplane. Say, I drive the airplane. Bihengi unjan hada. That is to drive an airplane. Bihengi tada. That is to ride an airplane. And finally, we move to the water and learn boat. That is botte. That's how you say boat. To ride the boat is botte tada. To drive the boat is botte unjan hada. But what if you have a big boat? That is a ship. Ship in Korean is be, which is also the word for stomach. Context is very important in Korean. To ride a ship is be tada. To drive a ship, you can say be unjan hada. And because it is a ship, we could also say pilot a ship. Be chojong hada. Chojong hada is to pilot. Here is a chart of everything we learned today. You will also find it linked in the description along with the transcript and my merch. I've got designs of some of the vocabulary we learned today, like this cute bunny love train, and this cat bike, and this one too. I have over 40 different designs, and wearing a Korean shirt is a great conversation starter, and a good way to meet a friend to practice Korean with. I try really hard to make nice stuff for you guys. So please make good use of the links in the description, and thank you for studying with me.